My name is Lex Parker, and my project this year will be a sawmill. Charmer had a sawmill, had a lot more room for the sawmill than I have in my layout, so I'm going to have to do some uh, judicious compression. The sawmill will be mostly scratch built. The machinery will be from kits from uh, both uh, western scale models and Sierra West scale models. The lumber yard uh, will be attached to the side of the sawmill and that will be a Mount Albert Scale Lumber Company kit. The sawmill itself, the structure is going to have to be scratch built and I will probably design and build it uh, based on the layout of the machinery and the space that I have and it'll, it'll be uh, guided by those features. The process uh, will take a little bit of time. What I'll do first is I'll start building all the machinery in components and once I have that then I'll do a layout uh, on the table and establish the footprint of the sawmill and then start building up from there. Now I'm a believer in having a, a good clean surface to work in. So the, I have a, work, a, a desk here that I do my modeling on and the very first thing I do is I take a sheet of or a roll of bond paper and I cover the whole table with a fresh sheet of bond paper so I have a nice white surface to work on. Uh, it's easy to find parts, you know, especially the small parts like NBWs and so on, but it also makes a nice bright surface to work on. The next thing I've done is a bit of research and I've, photogra I've printed photographs from Sierra West's website of the, the machinery that I'm going to be using and I've printed them in a large scale so that I, that I have some reference material as I'm building uh, each of the parts uh, using their instructions. And then I have all the castings in various kits that will be included in there. This is a circ circular husk, a second blade that will be attached to it. There's carriage hardware, carriage drive, live rolls, a cutoff saw and dead rolls, log turner, a log deck, you get there's a log haul and edger. And then I've also got the castings here from Western Scale uh, of the twin cylinder steam engine that will be put together. There will be a boiler that will come from Sierra West at a later stage. I've also purchased in advance um, various lengths and, and sizes of, uh, of wire and tubing, brass wire and tubing, uh, for the uh, assembly of the various uh, components of each of the engines and uh, they'll be used uh, at the appropriate time. Instructions are all uh, also uh, set up here. I've got uh, uh, a booklet here from Sierra West on the assembly of all the various components. Uh, very well laid out and uh, should be no trouble at all. Same as the instructions for the twin cylinder engine from Western Scale Models and uh, so that will all become very handy at the right at the appropriate time. I also carry a fairly good inventory of lumber, um, all scale lumber in uh, O scale and uh, this is all Mount Albert scale lumber. It's good to have um, as many sizes as, as possible and of course everyone is tagged and sized so that I can readily find the correct size uh, of um, the strip width that I'm going to need. This is the area of the layout at the far end that uh, will have the, uh, the sawmill and uh, the lumber yard. And there's a, there's a road that I'm going to be building that will be coming down below those abandoned coke ovens that will be all overgrown eventually. And uh, the sawmill will be located in this area here. The uh, white mock-up is a representation of the uh, sawmill and I have a fairly decent area here not large but enough to put a model in a lumber yard in here to create some activity uh, presently I've just got a, a variety of other models sitting here that are just under construction but the the foam core markup 
uh, I use those just simply to gauge the amount of space that I'm going to need and uh, this will be tucked in at the base of uh, that, uh, that hill and uh, those trees in the background. So this is the twin cylinder steam engine and the first thing I do is I unpackage all the parts and put them in their various groups from each package and keep them together so they don't get mixed up because they're obviously for certain key areas. Uh, the the um, drive wheel that will uh, have the uh, belt on it that drives all the line shafts. That's the concrete foundation that the engine will sit on. These are the various um, components. This is the bed for the pistons and very simple to start with. The wheel will go in there like so, so that gives you a general idea how this will look. The thing to really watch is there's a lot of parts. This engine that you see here has 132 parts and you can see how tiny some of these actually are. I'll try and zoom in there and uh, give you a bit of an idea. Now a kit like this it may appear overwhelming to most people. Well it certainly does to me. Uh, there's an awful lot of parts, an awful lot of tiny bits and pieces easily lost. So you have to be very careful. But what I found is not to rush. And I take a little bit of time in the evenings. Uh, I will sit down and I will just do one component. I'll just cl uh, clean the flash in one evening. Another evening I'll, I'll finish off the, 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 uh, the coloring of all the parts and usually I'll put that in a blackening uh, uh, agent and then clean the dust and everything and do some minor weathering on it. Um, and I would just slowly build up, follow the instructions. This may take me maybe a week of evenings to do uh, this model, um, if I'm lucky. And um, it'll eventually come together. Uh, I don't look at the whole thing and how do I get it all together. I just take and put pieces together one by one. I may only do this little group here one evening. And the key is to do it carefully and do it right because then you come out with a, a spectacular model that uh, embraces the, the manufacturer and the effort that they've put in to create such wonderful castings and with so much pristine detail. Having already built a twin cylinder steam engine, I won't be going through uh, a lot of detailed construction of it. Uh, I'll be giving you a few tips on some of the finishes, uh, but a lot of images are available to see on my website of that same steam engine that I built for the stamp mill. There's a, um, an article there on the construction of the stamp mill and you'll see a lot of breakdown images of that uh, twin cylinder steam engine. But in the meantime, he has a couple of close-up shots uh, on the video of that in place in this particular structure.